science. In this video, I'd like to talk about radical notation. Okay, to begin with, uh, the symbol for radical, which means you're going to take a root of a number, is this symbol right here. Many times you think of this symbol as a square root only uh, because the root index is 2. Many times you will see this just written like this, and that is a radical symbol, and you just assume it's square root. Technically, a 2 would be there. Now, what's underneath is called the radicand, and that is the number that you're going to take or find the numbers that multiply by this number to equal this number. For example, you have this radical notation. You have the radical symbol, you have the root index, which is 3, and then this is the radicand. So you're going to find a number that is multiplied by itself three times to equal the radicand. And in this case, it is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. Another example, here is the radical symbol. You have a root index of 3, and the radicand is 27. So you're going to find which number multiplied by itself three times equals 27. And it just so happens that 3 times 3 times 3 is equal to 27. And here is another example. You have a root index of 4, the radical symbol, and the radicand is 16. So I need to find a number that multiplied by itself four times that equals 16. And that is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, and that equals to 16. So in summary, this tells you that it's a radical, which means you're going to find a root of it. This number inside here is called the root index, and that is how many times the number multiplied by itself will equal the radicand. I hope that helps with radical notation. Thanks for watching. Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.